Today we're going to start talking about something called operators inside JavaScript. And for this episode, we're going to talk about the type called arithmetic operator. Now, as you guys can see, I did actually write out quite a few different math problems here. And the basic idea behind arithmetic operators are that we have some kind of symbol we use in between our numbers in order to get some kind of value. Now, I have a plus symbol, I have a minus symbol, multiplication, division. It's really basic math. And these symbols are what we call arithmetic operators. Now, the last five that I wrote down here I would like to explain because at least the last four of them we will use quite often when we do JavaScript. Now, the uh, percentage symbol that we have up here, what it basically does is that it divides the numbers with each other and tells you how much is left over afterwards. Now, five divided by five is going to be you know, divided evenly into each other, meaning that there's gonna be zero numbers left over. If I had something like eight, if I divide five by eight, I can only do that one time, but after we divide it by eight, since it doesn't go up evenly, we have three left over after we divide them. So the, you know, the actual result here would actually be three. Now, I'm not gonna to go too much into these things up here because it's really basic math, but the ones down here, like I said, are quite important. The first one here basically adds one to five. So when we take some kind of number, it could be either number, not just five, and write plus plus after it, it's gonna go ahead and see, okay, the answer is five, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add one to it. Down here, it's gonna say, okay, the answer is five, and I'm gonna go ahead and subtract one to it. So the answer would actually be four afterwards. Now, you might be thinking, well, what about the plus plus five rather than five plus plus? Because there's a difference here. If I were to run some kind of loop, which we haven't talked about yet, but it's basically if I were to keep spitting out answers one after another um, until some kind of statement has been fulfilled. Let's say I run a loop, which means that I'm doing some kind of calculation and I have to give an answer. And then it's gonna start over giving another calculation and then giving another answer. If I were to say five plus plus, if I were to run the loop once and there was only this one statement in there, the answer would be five the first time. And then for the next time, it's gonna add one, which means that the next loop is gonna give out six as an answer. Whereas down here, what the first time we run the loop, it's gonna go ahead and add the number first and then it's gonna spit out the answer, which means that the first time the loop is actually running, the answer is gonna be six and not five compared to this one up here. And the same thing goes for this one down here where we have five minus minus. The first time the answer is gonna be five and then it's gonna subtract one and then it's gonna run the loop the second time where the answer is gonna be four. Same thing down here. First time the answer is gonna be four because we subtract first and then the second time the loop runs is gonna be three. Okay, now that's the basic idea behind these arithmetic operators. And I'm not, I'm not gonna go too much into detail with them because as you guys can see, they're not too complicated. You can make them more complicated if you have a, I guess a more complicated math statement, but this is the basic idea behind them. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.